Hello students, here is a tutorial on how to download a file and then upload it to Focus. I am currently in Teams and I see a file here that I wish to download. So I'm going to click the three black dots and click download. In the bottom left hand corner, I will see the document. I can click on this and I will see the thing that I just downloaded. Quick edit. And when I'm done editing my document, I will click the file button. Now on my version, the file button looks like this. It's the office button, but it's the same thing. Now I can click save as and label it whatever I want to label it. Um, in this case, I'm not going to change the name. I'm just going to leave it. Um, I want to make sure I can find my work. Currently, I see that this is in the download folder, okay? I don't want to save this in the download folder because I'll have other things that I download and I don't want it to get lost. So I'll click desktop. I'll right click, new folder, Sci science Roebuck. And I'll, I'll uh, hit the save, the open, well, no, the save button, sorry. I'll click the save button. See my uh, file is highlighted. I'm going to click open, save, and now my work is saved. So I can close this out. Then I have to go to focus. So here I am in focus. I'm on the portal homepage. To the far right, I see all the grades. When I click a grade, it will show me the list of assignments. Now, what you see is the assignment name, point grade, etc. You also see assignment files. You might download your assignment from assignment files, and here's what that looks like. If I click this PDF document, then another screen will pop up. And I'll see this right here as a PDF. So if I put my mouse right here on the downward facing arrow, I can download this. And again, It'll, it'll give me a place, it'll give me the opportunity to save it wherever I want to. So I'm going to click desktop. I'm going to find my science Roebuck folder. Click open, click save. And down here in the bottom left hand corner, I will see that the document has saved. I'm going to click the back button. It takes me back to focus. So now I got to click the grade again so that I can see my assignment list. If it's a Word document that needs to be downloaded, I can click the underlined name. And now it's going to give me the opportunity to name my document and save it where I want. Again, I'm going to click desktop, um, scroll down, science Roebuck. It was actually already there, but I want to make sure I show you the whole process and then click save. And again, in the bottom left hand corner, my document, I see that it's been downloaded. So now I've gone over three different ways that you might download a document. Here is the one way you will upload the document. Click the edit upload button. Click select. Wait patiently for your dialog box. And whatever the assignment I need to upload, I'm going to click it. Down here it will say file name. I'll click open. The bar was blue and scrolling to the right as it loaded. Now that the bar is red, I know that the document has loaded. So I can close that. 
if I click the green downward facing arrow, I can download my assignment. I'll, it'll open up my assignment right here and it'll give me the opportunity to download it. Um, you might need to do this if you're checking to make sure that you uploaded the correct assignment, but usually you won't need that function, but it is available to you. Okay, so I'm just going to click cancel because I don't need to download that. Now let's say I notice I, upload the, I uploaded the wrong document. I will click edit upload and I will click the red bar and that will delete the document. It will give me this pop up. Are you sure you want to delete this? Okay, I'll delete that. And then I'll click close. The student file portion has not changed. You have to either refresh the page or click the portal home page and then click on the grade again and you'll notice that the document is no longer under student files. That is the entire presentation. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful.